you can have ice cream every single night and still still lose weight, yeah, you can actually. <laughs> Um, people say, but ice cream is fat, but pork belly is fat. Like, how does it work? Karena kan dibilang, you just said um, maintenance calories, you need to hit below it to lose weight. You need to like yes. at least be the same or not higher to gain gain weight or gain muscle, yeah. right? But yeah. then like, um, how about like food that has a lot of fat or food that has a lot of like sugar? Does it affect well, in a way or how does it work? Okay, so first of all, you you have to eat this in moderation too because sugar and fat, the end of the fat is yeah, it's energy, but if you have too much, it's going to like fat is higher in calories. Like the the macro basis is basically like like it's. I I think I'm not too sure on this, but for like one gram of carb is four calories, and then and then um one gram of protein is four calories, and then uh one gram of fat is nine calories. So fat is like. Fat is initially already higher calories than mm. carbs and protein. That's why people think food that are high in fats are, are obviously higher in calories. And so, like, you're going to think people of food that are high in fats are going to make you fat faster, you know? So, but what you mean is it's, basically... it's, it's technically it's true because they contain more calories. But if you s- still manage to eat, you, you, you your total daily intake is still like less than your maintenance. You will still lose weight if it's like if it's not over your maintenance, you won't gain weight. Even if you eat pork belly or whatever, whatever diet approach you want, keto, intermittent fasting, whatever, it accumulates to your whole daily intake. You know. So basically, Roughly, it yeah. doesn't really matter what you eat. What matters is you just need to maintain your calories every day. Yes, yes. But with that That's being diet. said, that with yeah, with that being said, don't like go like super unhealthy and you know like you still can lose weight. But like for your general health, it's not healthy. Mm. And also, if you want to build muscle. The most, the quality of the nutrition also counts. Mm. If, you, if you want to be optimal, you know, like you can, you can do the 80 20 rule, but don't like fit all like junk food into your diet and somehow, like, you, yeah, you can, like, you can still lose weight, but like it's not going to be healthy for you, man. Mm. Also, you your don't recovery get won't all be. All the nutrition and then your muscles won't be. Yeah, like, yeah, and, and also, you, 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 you won't get the, the vitamins that, like, Whatever, all these healthy food have like chicken breast steak and salmon, like they all have this vitamins that comes with it. If you eat like processed meat every time, you won't get the same vitamins and you will be deficient in the vitamin. And because you, you, yeah, you, okay, well, you, you manage to lose weight, but you want to be deficient in vitamins. I don't think anyone wants that. So, like, still stick to the 80 20%, 80% healthy, 20% unhealthy rule. You can do that. Like, 20% not unhealthy, like 20% like anything you want, you know? So, but, like, you mean, for me, like- so you mean like 80 20 is more like uh, for example a week for yeah. seven days you eat um five days of healthy food and then like for example two days of not healthy food no 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 not like that because if two days of not healthy food you will go overboard and your five days of healthy food like the, your two days of healthy food could just ruin it uh, as a whole you know like let's say you are you you're trying to lose fat gun your maintenance is 2500 gun You've been eating 2,300 Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, you choose to eat like 7,000 calories out of nowhere because you're going to a buffet and you're like, oh, this is my off day, 80 20 rule. And you just 7,000, 7,000. Like the average of the week is just basically it cancels out your calorie deficit during the week and Monday to Friday. Mm-hmm. So basically, oh, that's all what I meant by 80 20. So your 20% rule yeah. is still. In, by, I mean, by 80 is still... 20 is like on a daily basis. Like if you want to accumulate 2,300 calories, your daily basis, 80% of it healthy, 20% of it unhealthy is okay. That's what I meant on a daily basis, not not on a weekly basis as in mm. you eat healthy five days in a row and, and two days in a row you eat whatever you want, not like that. Mm. Not like that. I so mean, it's like, on a daily yeah. basis. Uh, so every day you can yeah. still eat something that's not healthy then? Yeah, you can. If, mm. uh, technically so you for can, example, yeah. the ice cream that you said. Yeah, exactly. You can have mm. ice cream every single night and still, still lose weight. Yeah, you can actually. Mm. But you just got to be smart about it.